Libra, how you doing? Welcome to your weekly reading here on the Astro Flower. What a weekend. Have you, what's your weekend been like? I'll tell you what, it's been mad. I've just driven from the uh, UK to the South of France. And what a journey. It had all the horrific ingredients to be a nightmare. But it came out okay. And I think this weekend, it seems to me that a lot of people are getting that. You know, if it, what happened for me is I started my journey, 800, 800 miles, right? Uh, journey. Uh, and also there's a uh, ferry crossing from the UK to France. And uh, I messed that up, yeah. And, but the thing is, at the start of my journey, I hit a pothole, yeah, in the roads. And uh, I didn't think nothing of it. And then I got to France after, after a bit of a nightmare journey on the ferry. Got to France, filled up with petrol, still had 600 miles left, right? And it was 7.30 at night. And um, I had 600 miles still left to do. And as I was getting back in the car, I noticed on the front wheel, there was a massive blister on the um, tire. And I was just thinking, oh, no, it's 7.30 at night. I can't change the tire over. But this inner voice inside me said, it's going to be OK. It's going to be OK. There was an outer voice as well, which is my angel in the background, Tanya, who encouraged me, you know, with good vibrations all the way through. Thank you very much, Tanya. Um, yeah. but. It's like, you know, that inner voice sort of said it would be all right. And I finally got back here. But I'm not the only one who's been having a weekend where it could have been catastrophic, but it actually turned out to be really positive. So I hope that's what's coming in for you this weekend. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why this, this, this reading is a little bit late coming in. Um, but yeah, if you've been having that experience, give us a shout. I'd love to know. Let's just see what's going on with you for this week, shall we, Libra? Overall energies here. Karmic message on your relationship side, financial side, influence from the universe, influence from far self, influence from future self, general sort of outcome. There is a, um, is a smile and it's a very satisfying joy that's coming out of this reading already. Uh, it's like it's kind of going, life is sweet. It really is. Sort of thing. It's really nice. Let's just see what the overall energy here is. <laughs> it's kind of going, Enjoy, 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 and then some enjoy some more. That's what it seems to be like. Yeah, abundance of joy. And this is not only in a physical front, this is also in a material front, financially. This is also in an emotional front. It's also revealing to you the general energy overall. Once you start that, that process of kind of going, you know, this could be fun. I'm going to enjoy this week. And once you start with that attitude, things really will start playing in your favor and i think that's what this week has prepared this weekend has prepared me and certainly others about kind of going it could be mad it could it's got all the ingredients to be a, you know uh, a catastrophic sort of scenario but it's coming out good and i think this is the same thing with you i think this is if you start the week with this kind of going do you know what i'm going to enjoy this week regardless of what the world throws me because you're a badass person when you want to get it done you'll get it done and then that's what you've got to be. You've got to be badass with your, with your good energies. On your financial, on your relationship side, there is, it's, it's as clear as a bell that's ringing in the middle of the moors, as it were. You can hear it from miles away, and it's cutting through everything, this joy that's on your karmic path. And your karmic path, once you start ringing like that bell, you know, really clearly... It's like a lighthouse for ships in the sea. You know, they're just coming in and go, oh, look, there's Libra. Fantastic. You know, and I think this is where you've got to ring like the bell. I think this is what your karmic path is all about. The universe here, the moment, if you do ring like a bell this week and approach it like that, um, the, the, you, you're, the universe is almost kind of going, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to increase that, that resonance. Do you know what it's like when you go out in snow sometimes and Things don't sound the same because it's cushioned by the snow. Uh, or if it go in a crystal day and you can hear that. It's like, yeah, I know what it's like. It's like when you're driving along in a car and you're going about sort of 60 miles an hour, but you hear this bird singing out the window. And obviously you're just going past the bird, but it breaks all the noise of the cars and you can hear that bird singing. And that's what you're like. And I think the, the universe is doing that. It's almost echoing that resonation within you if you start the week like that 
there is abundance of beauty that can come. Here is a steep learning curve from your past. It's a very steep inner learning curve and it's sharpening your swords. It's making you uh, in your emotions uh, and within your world very, in French it's tranchant, it's, it's very, it's decisive. It really cuts through the mist, you know, really does cut through the mist. And this is where in your future, this is, if you approach it in this manner, by the end of the week, you'll start seeing your future because you're going to rise above the clouds. And it's going to make you kind of go, yeah, I can actually see very far, a long way. Wow. Love is on the horizon. I am going to engage in love. And it is going to be good. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. And it's going to be rocky bits along the road. But that's what mountains are all about. And that's why I'm sat on top of a mountain and looking out clearly above the clouds. The overall message or lesson that you need to take from this week, I think is kind of saying, do you know what? I have a lot more influence than I thought upon the world around me in the way in which I engage um, engage in the world. So if I approach life and kind of go, yeah, it'd be all right. I'm a bit, ted, you know, worried about the future. You're going to, it's those catastrophic moments. You're not going to be able to deal with them. And yeah, you kind of turn around and kind of go, oh, I was right. I knew it was going to be a nightmare. And it was, you know, but if you kind of go, oh, I want to enjoy my life. Boy, it was mad. It was a cat. It was, it was chaotic, but it was bedlam as, as, uh, as my love would say, you know, and, um, but out of that bedlam comes absolutely beautiful stuff. You know, if you approach it in a certain way, Queen of Cups, that's that positive vibration on your karmic path. Let it flow. You have abundance of it. Once you start doing that, that's when you can really start bringing in the good stuff. And the universe here is bringing you the five of, of pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles is all about money loss, being shy and the cold and all of that malarkey. Um, but at the end of the day, I think the, the universe here is sort of saying, these are the ingredients sort of saying, OK, great. You're going to approach it like that with that really positive attitude or that engagement and kind of enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. The universe is kind of sort of saying, well, look, you've got to deal with the outside world. But it's going to set you apart from the outside world. Set you apart from the nose dive that could happen in life or taking off to greater heights and i think it's a blessing here i think the universe is sort of kind of going okay you've got that good vibration to make it live and be true you know no one's going to look for a, a lighthouse if they know where they're going if they can see the world in front of them they don't need you and i think this is where the universe is sort of kind of going yeah, okay let's see how your light shines and I think the universe has got every faith in you to do it because it is a blessing in disguise. And that's what that stained glass window apparently is all about. Thanking you very much, my fishy friend. Yeah. So, you know, there is a lot going on for you. There is no doubt about it. And from your past, this is it. Sharpening, razor sharp. You know, you're going off on a mission of, I think, love. Because love is... You know, the emotional part of meeting someone, having a lovely moment, honeymoon and all of that, absolutely brilliant, really getting into being in the good vibe with another person. But there's also, there's aspects of kind of going, should we live together, which is very practical, is very earthy, you know, and there's that sort of thing. And it's, I think the mission here is kind of sort of saying, I'm going to go on this mission and yeah, I'm going to confront all those earthy, rocky things, uh, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be good, you know, and, and in your future self, is you going off on this mission from there and being very curious about it. And that's once you're very curious about life and kind of saying, well, if I approach it like this, you know, it might be, there might be difficulties in the week, but I'm going to be able to deal with them. And out of that, what doesn't kill me is going to make me stronger. You know what I mean? Seven of cups, evident path. There is no choice here. Once you start approaching it, and I think this is where you, this is like that lesson I'm saying, this is the lesson that comes out of this week. You, you realize you've actually got a lot more control over it because, and, and because with that understanding of you've actually got a lot more control over it, this is where you kind of go, 
do you know what? If I've got control over it, what if I push it this way? Wow. I know now that I can confront things that normally in the past I might have kind of gone, oh, no, it's a nightmare. Now I can confront that kind of going, oh, yeah, it's not easy. Okay, it's complications. There's things to sort out. Oh, wow, get them sorted. Excellent. That is, it's a change, it's a, it's an exploration of an, of a different attitude. You, you don't risk anything in this exploration this week. There's only beauty to be gained out of it. <coughs> Absolutely only beauty to be gained out of it. On your financial side or on your material side of life. Let's have a look at that. Let's see what's going on there. Um, on your karmic path here. There's a long-term goal, plan, or uh, a way of being. So let, let's just say you've been working in um, a company. You've been, say, like head of H&R, or uh, you've been working in an H&R, or in the accounts department, or sales, whatever it is. <coughs> Excuse me. In sales. Um, but you have used to love music, or you loved painting, and stuff like that. And all of a sudden, this is becoming more important in your life. So there's something in the past that's actually now coming up that's becoming a lot more important in your life. And it's in your karmic path to actually kind of say, okay, I've learned a lot between then and now, and how can I apply that in my future? And that's where your karmic path is saying, you've now got to start applying what you've learned over life for a long-term goal that you've been connected with, uh, or long-term desire that you've been connected with. The universe is also doing this. It's streaming stuff into you. The moment you start going off into that pathway, it's streaming things into you. And it's nothing but opening doors for you, I think, the universe, with coincidences. So be very attentive about that. And your past is really important. It's almost like a prism, so you can see the world in, in multitudes of different ways um, because you've been through experiences. And now, how do you apply them into your future? And your future seems to be opening up to a to victory or a, a completion of an inner desire or joy to be connected with something uh, that you do. And this could be a project. This could be a business. This could be um, um, uh, sort of like uh, I don't think it's a really like a job as such, although a job may be connected to it. But it's more sort of like kind of you know, I love music and therefore um, I'm, you know, apparently there's, they need a, there's a, there's a position going as an agent for these various groups. I know a few places I can help them out with booking events. It's that sort of thing. And then all of a sudden you're kind of going, oh, wow, I actually, you know what, I can do this full time. That sort of thing that's coming through. And, uh, you know, it, the lesson out of this is, is kind of going, you're only going to win what you put in. Wow, that's quite a nice phrase, that. Eh? You're only going to win what you put in, okay? You heard it here first. I heard it here first, okay? And that's what the lesson is for this week. Seven of, uh, ten of one, sorry. Yeah, I think this is this transition. I think you're realizing that you may have been carrying a lot for something or general life, and this is where your past comes into play. You're learning a lot, and that's all your lessons about how you passionately engaged in your life on a material front, and I think mainly for other people, not just for other people, but just working in a job and et cetera. And now that is changing because there's this, this, this connection to a, a passion that's been in your life, uh, which needs to come to the fore within your financial world. Yeah, the universe here is sort of saying, you know, it's, the universe wants to marry you in this respect. It's sort of saying, you bring your plan to the table, the universe will, the universe will match you. And that's where the celebration of those two people coming together. And this is where you need to um, open up to the joy of, of a passion that is within you, because it's going to provide a, an income for you. It's going to provide you a position within the world, you know, uh, from it. <laughs> Look at that, the seven of wands. Your past and seven of wands is a revelation. Seven is a revelation number. You've got the seven of cups up the top there. I think it's a revelation for your heart. I think you know where you've got to go with your heart, really. And if you feel it, then do it. Yeah, as I said, there's complications. But anyway, we saw that in your relationship side. On your financial side, 
yet you've had to fight your way a bit through life, I think, uh, just to sort of get to where you want to be. But now it's a case of being, um, I think you need to fight for your path. Not for somebody else's, not for another business. You might have been working for a business that for the past, say, like 20 years or so. And, uh, you know, they may not have appreciated you, maybe. And or you don't may not feel appreciated. And now you're kind of going, well, now I'm going to do it for me. And you've got to live for you. And in your future self, look at that, the lovers. This is where this comes into play. This is you being in total into alignment with what you're doing and loving what you're doing. Ace of swords at the top. The lesson, you know, you got. It, 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 what did I say? If you, it, you invest in it, you get out. Or the, what was it? You know the phrase. You'll see it. You'll rewind it. That's what it's all about. Your inner, we're inner. It's, it's so fresh that phrase there. I can't even remember it. Um, you know, it's you and your victory. There is a big victory coming out of you, and it's all about you letting go of certain things that. You know, doing a lot of things for a lot of other people, but not putting yourself first. And now it's a case of you, if you want to win it, you've got to be. If you want to win it, you've got to be in it. Is that what it was? That if it wasn't that, that's another one. And that's what it's all about. And I think you're realizing that this week. You know, I enjoy doing this. Wow, I actually, do you know what? I can make money out of this. And that sort of thing's coming through. Let's do a bit of light series cards here. Four of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, with this abundance that you had, this abundance of enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Don't be stupid. Don't just run off and give it to, uh, you know, to uh, projects or situations or to people in your life that are just, that are not there on the long term for you. And I think you're realizing now who is actually rooting for you and sort of saying, yeah, go and do it, go and do it. You love it. And I think that's what's going to make you realize, actually, you love those people, the people that are rooting for you. And it's being very, you know, being very, um, going for quality rather than quantity of how you invest your abundances within you. I don't think you need to fight here at all <clears throat> um, on your pathway. But the only thing is I think you need to be the best example of yourself. And I, I think that's where your joyous side, which you have abundance of when you allow yourself to be free and allow yourself to be, that's when you can light the world around you, you know, in a really beautiful way. With the, yeah, this is it. If you want to go out on that mission, I think the universe is here. So it's like, we like your mission in regards to love. And um, we're going to support you 100%. But it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to give you a pass. You know, if I was, let's say I was playing um, tennis against a, uh, Another person, I was, a, I was quite a good tennis, you know, I, I wasn't a quite a good tennis player. You know, I was really bad. I still am very bad. I'll, have a, I'll play tennis, but I'm not necessarily means I'm good, right? But, you know, it's like you, you're going up against like a legend or almost like an idol of yourself. And the universe is kind of sort of saying, okay, you want to put it up against you, but I'm not going to let you pass. It's like when, you know, when as a parent, sometimes you let your kids win it again, but sometimes you don't want them to let them to win. Because you've got to teach, a, you know, you got to teach kids that if you want to be the best, you got to, you got to dig deep within you. And I think this is what it's sort of saying here. Yeah, look at that, you know, with the ace of, with the knight of swords. This is you sharpening your joy and being the best example of yourself and going off on that mission to sharpen your joy. And this is, <coughs> it is allowing you to be free. Because you have all the attributes. It's the way in which you set it up in the engagement. Yeah, going off on your curious path. As I said, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be easy. You're going to, you would have gone through choppy waters to get there. And that's what that's all about. I think the universe is being very kind to you by not necessarily giving you a pass. Because I think you'll, you'll appreciate the value of you going, kind of going, I wanted love. I went after it. It wasn't easy, but I got it. And I think this is what's really going to sort of, oh, it's going to play so right for you. You know it. You know it in you. You know it where your heart is. Come on, don't deny it. Seven of Cups, evident path, revelation for you. It's revealing your real true love. And I would go, it, as I say, it doesn't necessarily mean 
you know, it's going to be easy. We've seen that, but I think you'll love it all the same. I think, you know, once you engage 100%, then, you know, all in, go all in. All right, let's go on your financial side. Ten of Wands. Yeah, once you start letting go, trying to cover all the bases, that's what you've got to stop trying to do. Then you're going to sit there and actually know that, do you know what, I can make money out of this, and I actually enjoy it. And she sat at the tree of knowledge. That tree of knowledge bears fruit. It has its seasons of bringing you the good stuff. Okay, she knows that because she's been sat at the tree of knowledge for so long. She knows when the season turns up. Therefore, she knows that that fruit is going to be dropping for her. She doesn't have to go anywhere. And that's what the, your lesson you've got to engage with in this week in regards to your financial and your material pathway. It's really taking um, control of the situation, basically. And the universe here, with the four of wands, it will help. It's like... If you do something in life, sort of kind of like if you send off a proposition for an idea, yeah, the universe is kind of going, okay, I'm going to play smart. I'm going to help you with that proposition by creating a scenario in the life of that person who is receiving that opportunity or that proposition from you to actually make that person kind of go, yeah, okay. And it's going to make you out to be a lot smarter than you actually are. Not that you're not smart. You're really, a sh you're always one of the sharpest tools in the in the drawer when it comes to uh, come to sort of finances and stuff like that, Libra. And but the universe has really got your back in a really beautiful way, absolutely beautiful way, really really nice. With the past to your future, the seven of wands, you know this pathway. Uh, you've had to fight for it all through your life. Now it's a case of living that pathway. That is going to be your strength. If you just go ahead and do something and do that if you make that proposition to someone or that company or whatever it is to do whatever you need to do because you enjoy doing it i think there that's when you don't have to defend your pathway you can sort of say to the people you're propositioning the kind of you know business you're going to and you're sort of saying i you know i, I i'm gonna do this i've got to do this this is just a natural thing for me to do and i know you've got to help me and they will help you and this is where <laughs> in your future this is where you come into alignment with yourself. It, it, you start loving what you're doing, and it provides so many gifts for you. There is a, there is a proposition, there is a, a victory, an ultimate crowning glory for you in the offering here. But it is got, it's only you who can go after it. You've got to be in it to win it. Is, is that what I said earlier on? That's a phrase I've already heard in it. But you've got to be in it to win it. Yeah. And <laughs> that is you as well. You are manifesting this victory by realizing your strengths, realizing what you don't need to be doing of running around covering everybody's backsides and you just literally covering your future and making it your victory, creating it. You are creating it. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Libra, as per usual, an absolute pleasure doing your readings. Really, I hope you get the best out of these readings. Um, you know, much appreciate all the support you give to this channel through the YouTube system, whichever way it is. It's really very much appreciated. Thanking you very much. If you are not subscribed and you've got this far, how come you haven't clicked that subscribe thing? And don't forget to click all notifications as well. You know, I, if you haven't got this far and you're not subscribed, why not? What are you playing at? Get involved. Enjoy. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, I'll see you soon on this channel. Uh, uh, all that's left for me to say is don't forget, life should be fun so please do enjoy! <laughs>